So it's finally happening. The release of the core. Unlike Take Mikazuchi, this one is supposed to take place secretly in the basement of the Mages Guild. Perhaps it's because they're simply releasing the core as opposed to sealing away the Phenomena weapon. What a bulwark and Yukianasa. They still haven't been retrieved. Bulwark exchanged hands so many times its tracks are hard to follow. As for the Yukianasa... The member of the Ten Sages that ran away with it is still at large. So I hear. Are you sure this is okay? They're gonna release the core before all the weapons are gathered. If the others turn up later on in the enemy's hands, it could cause a major threat. Huh. I've been cocking my neck at just about everything that the Novus Orbis Librarium is doing. They are not handling the matter with the care it deserves. The Phenomena weapons should be gathered and sealed away immediately. I agree. But apparently establishing their rule and authority takes precedence. As for the Phenomena weapons, Nine is trying to put pressure on the committee. However, the Ten Sages have lost the power they once had. Moreover, the power in the committee now mostly lies in the hands of the duo Decim in the Ten Sages stead. It's an uphill battle. If the Alucards made a move and took a side. It may be easier to cause change, but... Since Clavis Alucard's death, the successor, Rachel Alucard, has gone into a deep slumber. Of course, Valkenhayn won't leave the castle, and when she'll wake is still a mystery. Even if she could trigger change, I wonder if it will be enough. I place no hope in her. Now you may say so, but we need every bit of help we can get right now. We can't even see Nine and Trinity because they're so busy working. And yet, here we are, not doing anything on the outside. It's too pitiful. They are still being used? Nine and Trinity are residents of Ishana. On top of that, they're also members of the Mages Guild. They're in a truly difficult situation. What's he doing? Teremi, huh? I haven't been able to keep a really close eye on him. But he's busy with miscellaneous tasks from Nine. He may look like that, but he's an adept magic user, and powerful to boot. For Ishana, which lost most of its mages in the war, he's a valuable asset. Ha! <laughs> like domestic animals. One is forced to work non-stop, while others cannot leave the island if they want it. We cannot talk back, as we are monitored constantly. <laughs> People would laugh if they saw that this is what has become of the six heroes who saved the world. How do they plan to take care of him? Yeah, about that. I was hoping things would calm down around Nine a little more. There are too many watchful eyes around us, and, uh... Now the same goes for Teremi. If we killed Teremi under all these eyes, it would cause confusion and panic. He was one of the six heroes, after all. I do not want to cause any more trouble around Nine. If her position becomes any more unstable than it already is, she may well take a stand against the New Order. War only just ended. I don't want her to fight again. I see. Cat, I intend to leave the island soon. Ishana? What would you do? Find the cauldron. I want to understand the boundary. I must understand what it is I am to do, in order to put an end to this god's dream. We have returned. Welcome home, Madam Rachel and Miss Selica. We're back, guys! Selica, um... Did you see him? Yeah, we did. I got to see Ragna. And he told me a lot of things, like what I was doing in the normal timeline after Kokonoe had copied me, and where I was living. How I died. I see. So the me who gets left behind is able to see Ragna too then, 
And Ragna, he was wearing that red jacket and large sword, the ones he gave me 90 years ago. I guess I was able to return it. You passed it along to him, right, Mr. Jubei? Thank you so much. Don't thank me. I'm the guy who couldn't do anything. Hell, I couldn't even save you. That's not true at all. Mr. Jubei, you listened to all my wishes and made them come true. I don't know how I can possibly thank you. Huh. I reckon you were always like that. No matter what era you're in. Really? Madam Rachel, I've already done everything I could here. I see. Well done. Listen, right now, Teremy has his mind wrapped around a large-scale continuum shift. But because of that, he can't think of much else. Thus, he will be unable to act quickly if we cause an intervention right now. We need to strike before he realizes what happens. Failure is not an option. Yes. Selica, you're all right? Yeah, I'm hearing about all of this right now, so I still can't keep up, but... We need to work together to beat that Terumi guy, right? As long as you understand that much, for now. All right then, shall we begin? Jubei, your eye. Of course. This eye has seen Teremi's true form once before. We are going to trace its memories and lead our magic to his spiritual body. I understand, Miss Rachel. Trinity, you got this! Of course, if I mess this one up, then I really won't know what I'm doing here. Please, Please give, give me strength, strength Nile. Now, I found you, Teremi. What the? Kagutsuchi? What the hell am I doing here? No! <clears throat> and what the hell are you doing here? You are trash! Ah? Uh? You are a low-life scum! You're trash! Scum! A piece of shit! Stupid, baldy, rotten fatty! I have no idea what you're up to, but you pick a fight with me, and you're seriously gonna get it. You know what that means, right? Wh what? The sensation. Something. Something is inside of me. The second stage? All right, then. Bring it on! Tear me! Oh, so now it's you, little Raggy? What's all this leading up to? I can't hold back my excitement. Shut up, you piece of shit. I don't need to hear your lip. I can cut you down with one arm tied behind my back. <laughs> so now you can bark a little, too. Wait. I've heard that one before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You've got to be kidding me, right? Sick joke is this? Oh, that damn wench. No, but but who goes this far? I mean, honestly, there's no way they'll succeed. Stop talking to yourself, freak. If you're just gonna stand there blabbing, I'm gonna take the first move. Shut the hell up, you little puppy. Quit your barking. I'm a little busy right now and in a bad mood. Disappeared again. This sure isn't fun. The fear feels real enough. And the sensation. But this isn't a hallucination or corruption of my mind. This is... materialization. This... <laughs> so, it's you after all. No. Oh no! You're all wrong! Hey, how long are you gonna make me play along with this boring-ass game of family, huh? 
Show your damn face already! Or, because you're inside my mind, you don't want to get your hands dirty, huh? Huh? Trinity Glassfield! Teramy. Finally decided to show yourself. You sure made me wait a long time. So, what are you doing here? At long last, I am standing here before you. I have waited so long for this day. You have no idea. I didn't come to hear you give your commentary. I'm asking you what the hell you're doing inside my mind. Teremy, this is your end. I no longer have the arms or power to reach you, but I promise we will bring you down. Oh, oh my. Now this is a big surprise. To think that the Trinity would pick a fight with me? All right, all right, I can deal with that. Let's fight then, hmm? Show me that same expression from when I killed Nine. What's wrong, hmm? You came out strong, but ended up being a weakling. You really thought you could bring me down with that? Crawling on the ground like a bug that lost its wings suits you best, you bitch. Feels like back then. Like back then? Yes, I should have done this to you long ago. For my friend, who meant more to me than the entire world. Disgusting. You didn't go through all this trouble just to pick a fight with me, did you? The hell are you plotting, you damn vampire? What the hell did you just do to me? What the hell did you just do to me, Trinity? Looks like it went pretty well. Now you're up, Mr. Hero. I know. Wait, I'll go too. What? I want to go too. Though I'm not sure if I can do anything, and I know it's dangerous, and I know you don't have the time to be protecting me. But I want to see it through. Now that I've come all the way to this era, I want to think of what I can do to help make changes for the better. Besides, it looks like Terumi gets really sick when I'm near him. Even if I can't do anything, at the very least I can hold him back just by being present. <sighs> what do you say? Her will is set. I will not waste time getting in her way. Indeed. And I shall accompany you two as the Guardian. You are my sister-in-law, after all. Thank you, Mr. Jubei! Are you all ready? We are going to teleport to where he is. Thank you, too, Miss Rachel. Next up, this girl. We need to bring her back out of Terony's mind. Valkenhayn, help me. But of course, Madam Rachel. <sighs> that damn wench. What the hell is she trying to pull? This is... Ikaruga? Whoa, 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 you're kidding me, right? This is what you were after?! I knew it was you. This is your end, Terami. Terami! Seriously? You brought her? Come any closer and I will kill both of you. Give it your best shot. I'd love to see you try. Just remember, Hakuman and myself, both our blades have one target in mind. Damn cat! Accept your fate. The end has come. Ah, shit, 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 shit! This is really bad. 
seriously bad. If only that damn bitch wasn't here! Phantom. Perfect timing. Phantom, get me the hell out of here! Yesterday! Tear me, wait! Ugh. To get so close and have him slip away! It seems we need to take care of first things first. I don't think so. Who was that? Celica, I would like to ask you too. Who was that? That was... that was my sister. Are you certain? Was that really... was that really Nine? Yeah, I'm sure. I can tell. I can feel it. I felt my sister's presence behind that shadow. If that is what you say, then there must be no mistake. Your intuition is sharper than any logic can possibly be. He must have found Nine's soul deep in the boundary and given her a shape. Her magical prowess goes far beyond mankind's understanding. If he could truly bind her soul, and he couldn't ask for a more excellent pawn. Harlequin. Trinity, are you all right? I yes, I'm fine. <clears throat> you are. Oh? What a fascinating coincidence. Relius Clover. That we would meet like this. But perhaps this is some higher power at work. Relius, now that we face off against each other, do not think I will let you walk away from here. Though you may grow old, you are still a beast through and through. Sorry, but I have no interest in your antics. I no longer require your data, nor does it have much value to me. Not interested? Do you have any idea how much chaos you have caused because of your so-called interest? Your will is no longer at stake. I will make sure you will never be able to talk from that insolent mouth of yours again. A pathetic man, Valkenheim. Ignis, I summon you. For old time's sake, I shall teach you a lesson you will never forget. One would expect from a beast kin. Very tough indeed. I feel my blows connecting it. You will not fall. I think that's enough playtime. The clock is ticking. Oh, I almost forgot. I promised I would teach you a lesson you would never forget. There you are! I found you, Yuki Terumi! Now it's time for you to surrender to the Great Master Luna! Oh my, oh my, what have we here? The short stack once more. You know, no matter what it is inside of you, you sure know how to annoy the hell out of someone. Are you alone right now? We're not alone! Luna's got Senna, and vice versa! We got enough firepower to beat you to a pulp and make you say you're sorry! We may not be one of the six heroes, but we promised to take you down for Master Jubei. Oh, jeez. I hate persistent women and annoying little brats. My merge is slowly coming back to shape, and thankfully that pain in the ass little girl isn't here either. I think I could spare a little time to play with you. Isn't that right, Miss Trinity Glassville? Yes? 
I've been thinking about you all this time. When you almost dropped me into the boundary, and when I sealed myself away into the Muchori. Always, always thinking about you. Oh, now you shouldn't have. You're making me blush with all of this passion. Hmm. Let's see how to best respond to this. Aww. I'm not deserving of such gentle words, Miss Trinity Glassville. You're dirty and cruel. Come now, that's on the house. The body I used during the Dark War, that was your buddy, right? Did I sound anything like him to you? I will never, ever forgive you. How is this? I cannot forgive myself for being tricked by you all those years ago. And even now, for letting those words of yours affect me. A small body that I cannot live without. And above all, I cannot forgive you for tormenting my friend, Anselica! Tear me! <sighs> this is... Tell me you already found out how to. From just that one time? Are you trying to pull me out of here? <sighs> it hurts. Trinity, please, you're hurting me. Stop that. Help me. We're friends, aren't we? Come on. Are you all right, Trinity Glassville? I'm so sorry, Mr. Hockerman. Ah, that was way too close. But I suppose I owe you thanks, too. You did save my ass back there. As thanks? How about I kill the both of you together, hmm? You're not getting off easy for giving me all that shit, you know. I'll be sure to have a lot of fun with you two. Restriction 666 released. Dimensional interference field deployed. Code SOL. Blaze Blue, activate! I am the White Void. I am the Cold Steel. I am the Just Sword. With blade in hand, shall I reap the sins of this world and cleanse it in the fires of destruction? I'll throw you into the boundary once more! <laughs> I am Hakuman! The end has come! What exactly, hmm? Tell me! How unfortunate. Two of the six heroes here, and you couldn't even lay a finger on me. Moreover, you walked right into my trap like a couple of mice. Barrier. Infinite corridors. How about you two play with my little shadow here until the end of time? Oh, and don't worry. I'll give you a few more of the six heroes to play with really soon. The six heroes. <laughs> it would seem my role is to sever these chains that intertwine our fates. Hmm. How the hell can you be so calm? Vile serpent. You may have used Takamagahara to intervene on Ikaraga so that you can once again ignite conflict. However, you have underestimated another intervention. The Master Unit. So? The Master Unit is intervening to erase the hatred you created as we speak. And I can see the hatred pointing in one direction. Evil. 
What the hell are you trying to say? If what stands before us is indeed your shadow, then it would require a lot of negative energy to manifest it this accurately. There is only one who has enough hatred for you to create a shadow to allow you to exist here. Trinity, you can destroy this barrier, can you not? I have more confidence in my barrier magic than even hers. Whenever you're ready. Don't tell me. You guys are... Master Unit Amaterasu, guide us to the source of this hatred, and let God's thunder prevail! Muchorin! So, it was you after all. It has been a while, Magister Nine. That appearance and that form, the Mind Eater, but it's so intricate. Can you undo it? I will try. I'm sorry, Platinum. Just hang on a little bit more. To whence do you disappear? We will not let you escape. If we cannot banish this curse, I will have no choice but to end you. Nine, we made a mistake. It may have been our only choice, but to think he would continue to listen to us. In due time, we shall atone for our sin. We will need to slay the evils which we have introduced into this world. Otherwise, we stand to lose those we've loved as well. Nine! Is it really you? Uh, uh, Nine! Are you alright? Wait! Something's not right! She's overflowing with a murderous aura. No! My spell didn't work! This aura, even without being under the Mind Eater curse, it doesn't change. But she doesn't appear to be a soulless puppet pulled from the boundary. Once more, I'll cleanse it! Don't strain yourself. You cannot hold much longer. But, but Nine is there! I shall bear your responsibility. Choose, spirit. Do you die by the hands you have created? Do you let the blood on your hands stain you forever? Or will you submit to judgment for your crimes? Uh. 